So fun fact about myself, I'm actually extremely prone to injury. And we're not talking like stub my toe and hit my funny bone kind of prone, we're talking accidentally putting my non-primary foot in my pant leg first and falling flat on my face kind of prone. <laughs> so let's go back to the beginning, to baby Noah. Wait, no, 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 hold on too far! The season is winter. My family didn't have heat at the time, so we relied purely on the wood stove to keep us warm. Thanks, baby. And at the time of this story, I was just a two-year-old learning how to walk, so I wanted to explore everything and everywhere, which resulted in me getting into all sorts of trouble. Don't worry, they still haven't found the body yet. It was cold outside this day, and I wasn't gonna risk me getting the shivers, so I was by the wood stove most of the day, testing my chubby baby legs. And before we move on, I just figured I'd mention that we had a slightly raised hearth all around the wood stove, which was like four inches tall, tops. Which plays into the story in a second, but just wait. Now as I was testing out these little things on the bottom of my torso, my legs decided it was time to have a talk with me. Okay, so Noah, we don't want to beat around the bush or anything, but we just want to be blunt. We quit. Wait, what? So yeah, my legs did that thing where they gave out on me and I just started doing that weird stumbling motion where I kept on trying to catch myself by taking steps forward. And the thing is, it would have worked. I would have gotten my balance back and it would have been fine. Uh, hadn't I been charging right towards the hearth. Tripping over it and eventually landing directly on the stove. <coughs> Noah, you did a big goof. <coughs> so yeah, I'm pretty much an acrobat. Now this next one happened when I was setting up at a farmer's market with my brother and mom one day. And for those of you who don't know, farmer's markets are when tons of middle-aged women pay a fee to set up booths in a field or a McDonald's parking lot and try to sell their dog biscuits in 90 degree weather for 4 hours straight. My family used to do these twice a week to earn some extra cash, and on this specific day, I was still in the process of fully recovering from a hernia surgery on my stomach, so I was just gonna chill in the van curb while my mom and brother did all the work. For some quick context, we sold baked goods, and we did pretty good at these markets compared to the other grandmas there, so we had to make a lot of product to meet the demand. And to get all the food to the booth, we had to unload it in these crate things from the hatchback, right above where I wanted to sit. So right as I was about to sit down on the van curb, my brother came along and decided that, yeah, this is, this is definitely a good time, just open this thing up! It hit me right in the head, and I got a concussion. Uh, and it lasted for a while, having very, very long-term effects, uh, on me. Just like the first injury, this one has to do with... Fire. The scene is my dad's birthday. So all of her family is over and around a fire, cooking marshmallows and making s'mores. Having a good time, but not for long. I didn't mention this before, but in preparation for this whole event, my family went shopping to prepare and get all the ingredients for everything. Which led to me discovering a new kind of marshmallow I haven't seen before. And that marshmallow, while I didn't know it at the time, would change my whole life. For a year. Really, Noah, you've absolutely gotta be kidding me. Marshmallows? They're so fluffy and, and puffy, how, how could it hurt you? I mean, come on. And I'm getting to that, okay, just calm down. The marshmallows that we got were called Jumbo Marshmallows, and these things absolutely fascinated me, because they were three times the size of a regular marshmallow. So anyways, I want some marshmallowy, chocolatey, graham crackery goodness in my mouth. And to make that happen, I would have to use a little bit of elbow grease. After grabbing the marshmallow and patting myself on the back for making an awesome looking montage, I put my stick over the fire and waited for the profit. No more than 10 seconds later, the marshmallow catches on fire. Oh, I better take care of this. Oh, I can't tell mom or she'd freak out. Um... So in that moment of fear and panic, I did what any other human being would do in that situation. I shook the stick. Oh, you know, the one thing you should never do around a campfire full of victims just waiting to be fired at by a flaming catapult of fluff. And so I'm sitting there shaking this impaled jumbo puffy boy when finally, after what seems like days of me trying to extinguish it, it flings off right into my eye. Still on fire, mind you, so my whole family comes over with a hose and just starts spraying me down like a garden. I'm bawling my eyes out, my family is freaking out, it's an absolute mess. So what's the takeaway of this story? Perhaps it's don't shake a stick that has a flaming ball of heat on it? Or maybe it's be careful around hatchbacks. No, no, I don't think it's any of those. I think the moral of the story is that you should wear your seatbelt. <laughs> okay. This took me a while to make, obviously, four minutes longest video I've ever made, what, regardless. Anyways, I hope you liked it. I'm gonna be switching to Toon Boom next video, so bear with me. It's gonna take a little bit longer, maybe, uh, or quicker once I learn it, because I heard there's really quick workflow with that. Anyways, <clears throat> thank you for watching. Uh, see you next video. Sorry, James.